Uh, we, we appreciate your taking time to share with us, and uh, I want you just to kind of represent all of our Christian colleges and our, our universities and our Bible colleges, and I want to have a prayer on behalf of all of those schools, but we also want to pray for your presidency. you got a, a, a lot on your plate. I remember a few years ago uh, hearing an unusual statistic, Lipscomb was the only college in the state of Tennessee that had grown consistently for five straight years. And uh, you all have a rich heritage, but you have a a bright future uh, with you at the helm. So uh, let's pray for Dr. McQueen and let's let's pray for our colleges. Father in heaven, we we lift up our leaders. We have so many people who have been spiritual mentors and heroes to us through the years. We're reminded of whatever college we may have attended. Maybe it was a Christian college, maybe it was a Bible college. Maybe it was something else, but there was someone who represented Christ and was a reflection of him. And Lord, our our prayer is that every one of these schools that's trying to lift high the name of Jesus, that they will prosper, that you will work in them and through them, that you will keep these leaders, uh, continue to lead them in their own walk with you. Uh, Lord, we hear that a leader is someone who can take us to a place that we would never get on our own. And we're thankful for people uh, who have made that their life vocation, whether as a professor, as an administrator, just trying to make a difference. And we pray blessings on every one of those colleges. Pray blessings on every one of these schools. We pray you will provide the resources that they need, that they will flourish, that people will be drawn there for ministry training and, and to be Christians in the marketplace who make a difference. And Lord, right now I pray for our, our sister Candace. I thank you for her love for Christ. I thank you for the way that she is involved in the church and her husband's an elder and uh, their family loves Christ. I thank you for the way that, that she loves the church. I pray that you will give her boldness that she will take risks that she, she might not have taken if she weren't led by the Holy Spirit. I pray that you will continue to give her humility. You don't have to be around her long to sense that she is a humble servant of yours and that she, she values others more than she values herself. And Lord, I pray that you will bless her leadership and that, that Lipscomb will thrive uh, under her presidency. And Lord, keep her close to you. And when people look at Candace McQueen, may they know that she has spent time with Jesus Christ, in whose name we pray. Amen.